Hi, I'm Jason Hill. And I'm James Blackburn. And I'm Danny Lenski. <laughs> You're James Blackburn? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Very energized. And this is No Joke Survival. Preparations for the average family. And on this week's episode, we're going to be discussing canning and preserving. Woot woot. All right, one of our favorite subject matters. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, why is it so awesome? Like, uh, you know, we normally do the intro and, and talk about why it's important to do canning. So, <laughs> take it away. There's well, a lot of reasons. There, exactly. There are a lot of reasons. It's not just something that you know necessarily that your mom or grandparents would do. It's it's a little bit of a, a pride if it's something out of your own garden and you can can it and say this is mine and and uh, it makes a great gift. I mean. Oh fun. sure, it does. Well, yeah. I like that. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Something that she mentioned during the break was that if you do have a garden and you have a really good year. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden you have a whole bunch of vegetables that you can't possibly eat mm -hmm. before they go bad. Well, here's a good option for reserving them and saving them for later. That's right. And what flavor is that? He this, just we have some black grape jam. Mmm. Yes. Yummy. Yes. With that garlic. That was so easy. And garlic. You know, just yeah. like. That's a beautiful thing. But she's all happy and everything. <laughs> there you go. Easily I'll, pleased. I'll probably get like a food preserver for Christmas now. <laughs> yes. Yay. A dehydrator. A dehydrator. Mm. Right there. But, um, yes. you know, the, the thing with this is, you know, we talk about crises and natural disasters, and we've talked about, well, what if the stores run out of food or, or trucks can't get to them because the roads are blocked? And again, within a couple of days, all that food is going to be gone. Um, and you had a story about that, didn't you? I, I did, and we've all experienced it. We had a humongous snowstorm here about mm -hmm. seven years ago. And in the four days that we were cut off from the outside world, no semi-trucks coming in, I witnessed the grocery stores almost emptying out in four mm -hmm. days. At least all the essentials were completely bare. So if you have some food preserved and ready to go, because you never know what, you know, what curveball Mother Nature is going to throw mm -hmm. at you. Yeah. And so, yeah, that, that week I was glad I had extra food at home and, and extra things already preserved and canned because with no food in the grocery store, it, you know, couldn't eat, couldn't eat all that snow. <laughs> yeah, and all the good stuff's going to be gone, so unless you feel like eating a week's worth of artichoke hearts or yeah. something, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, and, it would be fun. Well, and when my family was living in Alabama, I mean, our house was totaled in a tornado, and both, both my parents had you know the foresight to do a lot of prepping and so we had a lot of a lot of canned goods that miraculously made it you know through after the tornado and it's one of those things as well when you might be worried about financial your financial situation after having lost a home and whatnot the last thing that you really want to have to worry about is just having food on the table and so we were we were set <laughs> for a good long while and that's the nice so. thing is that you know most of the stuff will store for one to two years some of your meats and other items are, you know, maybe three to six months, but you can have a, a whole pantry full of this and know that you're taken care of for months. You know, just like you said, no worries. And, and that, that peace of mind is really uh, good to have. Um, well, and it's not just for canning and preserving, you know, uh, jellies and stuff like that, too. I mean, as you were saying, meat vegetables, I mean, almost anything you can think of can be actually mm -hmm. preserved like that, right? Yeah, it's amazing the, the things that you can can. You have to definitely follow the instructions and, and do it properly. But with that being said, you can can, you know, Just so many things. things. Yep. <laughs> well, and then it's important also to date the can, obviously, uh, so that you know when it was made and, and you kind of got an idea for the shelf life on it as well. Mm -hmm. And the other important thing is, is we, we did food storage, and so we talk about having some of them dry goods, beans and rice, and, mm -hmm. and by doing the canning, then you supplement that. And you're not just eating bland stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. And so having a good variety of canned stuff in your pantry, I mean... You can have a gourmet meal out of everything that you prepared. Yeah. Got what is that? Salsa. Some salsa. salsa. Mm. And so, uh, when we come back from the break, what we're going to do is uh, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the items that we can can and uh, do a little basic demonstration of uh, canning some potatoes. And a little walkthrough of the different steps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, because there are some very specific steps, you know, and you definitely want to do it correctly. But uh, with that being said, you can spend one day, get all kinds of stuff canned, 
and forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. Forget about it. it. <laughs> so Let's come go. back after the break and we're going to be showing you a lot of really cool information things and uh, we're glad that you're here. Yep. Anyone bring chips? Because this salsa. I didn't think that you'd have well, salsa. We do have potatoes.